Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for the wet hair today. I just, I really wanted to make this video because I'm seeing it become, um, I'm seeing it more and more in Facebook groups and on Instagram and social media and things like that. Um, but if you are someone who sells on Poshmark or you want to sell on Poshmark or you just started and you've probably seen this happen, um, but there is a really bad email scam that's going around on Poshmark right now and it's honestly been happening for a while and it's very hard for them to develop something or a way to control it just because people are creating these fake accounts and they're leaving spam comments on people's profiles and on their listings so um, this usually happens to me whenever I list something that is a little bit more expensive, a little higher end, um, a sought after brand like Free People, or um, it happened on an Eileen Fisher listing that I have, it happens on Lululemon, designer things, Tory Burch, things like that. Um, but this, this scammer person will leave a comment on your listing and it will say something about, oh I'm really interested in this item for my wife, my mother, whoever, please email me more photos, condition, etc. And then they'll leave some really spammy looking Gmail address and they'll say something about, I'm going to make you a really great offer. Okay, problem number one. It is completely against policy to take transactions off of Poshmark. So it doesn't matter if this person is a real person or a fake person or a bot account. It doesn't matter. If you take your transaction, blah, if you take your transaction off of Poshmark and they see it or someone flags it or reports it, you will be banned from Poshmark. They will kick you off. You will not be allowed to have another account. They can track that. They can keep you from having another account. So if you are trying to establish your Poshmark and establish your business, that is, that is not the way to do it. Just... Poshmark policy is that all transactions have to stay on Poshmark and honestly keeping your transactions on Poshmark is going to protect you in the long run if something happens, if they scam you, if you know somebody tries to say that your item is not the item that you sent them, if they buy it. You have to keep your transactions on Poshmark. So in terms of the email scam, um, I have seen people who posting about, you know, they have emailed the person and the person wants to send them a check and then they get the check and it's like for a thousand dollars more than it's supposed to be and then the person wants them to cash the check and send the money back to them. Okay, don't do this. Don't. It's, it's a scam. It's illegal. They are money laundering or something like that. I'm not really sure. But do not email anybody off of Poshmark who is asking you to email them, don't send any money through PayPal, don't send them checks, don't cash checks, um, because if you do this, if you take your transaction off of Poshmark, Poshmark is not going to help you. If, you know, they take your item or they take your money, Poshmark can't help you if you didn't sell the item through their app. Um, but just know that these people leaving comments about getting you to email them and, you know, they'll email you back. They're not real people. They are scammers and they are just trying to get your money and you just, you shouldn't respond to them. There's a little flag on the comment. You can click on the flag and then you can report it as spam. And then what I usually do is I go to their actual profile and then I report their profile as spam as well. And then I block them. Um, because I've had them, after they comment on one thing, they'll go comment on several of my listings. And it's really annoying. Um, Poshmark has gotten really, really good about deleting them very quickly. Uh, but you have to report them. So don't just, you know, not report them because it's getting annoying. Please, please, please report them because Poshmark can't, you know, control this unless the users are reporting them. Um, but, you know. The point is, don't take your transactions off of Poshmark. You know, they can ban you and then you're not protected as a seller on there if you take it off of Poshmark. Um, don't respond to people asking you to sell you things on other apps. Like, it's just, it's not okay. So, if, if you get any of these comments, just block the person, report them, and that way Poshmark can take care of it. 
Um, like I said, I just wanted to make this video really quick. If it helps even one person not fall victim to this situation, then it was useful. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe. If you like this video and you want to see more videos about Poshmark and Poshmark tips, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.